it's a striking visual of the contrasting coalitions in American political life. Well, you know, we're white tomorrow night. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, Cornell Belcher, Philippe Reines, thank you both for being with me. Remember, right here, right here, tomorrow night, the first Democratic debate of 2027. Hi, Gloria. Yours truly will be part of the coverage starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to tune in. Still to come, some shocking new details about one of the sitting Republican congressmen facing felony charges, one of the two. As his lawyers argue, he should only be tried in a district won by Trump. Plus, tonight's thing, one thing, two starts next. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, I could watch them for hours. I pretty much do. Is another one around the corner? Or could it be different than I thought? I wanted to help protect myself. My doctor recommended Eloquence. Eloquence is proven to treat and help prevent another DVT or PE blood clot. Almost 98% of patients on Eloquence didn't experience another. And Eloquence has significantly less major bleeding than the standard treatment. Eloquence is FDA approved and has both. Don't stop Eloquist unless your doctor tells you to. Eloquist can cause serious and, in rare cases, fatal bleeding. Don't take Eloquist if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. If you have a spinal injection while on Eloquist, call your doctor right away if you have tension or while taking Eloquist, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding, like unusual bruising. Eloquist may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. What's around the corner could be surprising. Ask your doctor about Eloquist. The first Democratic presidential debate. Two nights that will make history tomorrow. Warren, O'Rourke, Booker, Klobuchar, and more, all hoping to break through. Then Thursday, Biden, Sanders, Buttigieg, and Harris battle it out with six others. The first Democratic debate, moderated by Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, Jose diaz Balart, Chuck Todd, and Rachel Maddow. Tomorrow and Thursday at 9 Eastern on NBC, MSNBC, and Telemundo. Thing one tonight we've watched as one swampy Trump administration official after another has gotten the boot mired in scandal. Now, Axios has obtained nearly a hundred leaked Trump transition vetting documents, which identify a host of red flags about officials who went on to get some of the most powerful jobs in the U.S. government. The list of red flags may sound very familiar. For example, here's one. Former EP Administrator Scott Pruitt, quote, allegations of coziness with big energy companies. Huh. It's not like the Trump administration needed a private detective to tell them that. They just needed the Google. Hi, Jackie. Poodle play is the best. Look at them. Come here, Susie. Oh, maybe they saw the picture of Rex getting Putin's over a friendship medal. 
Rudy Giuliani's foreign entanglements red flags were so vast they required a 25-page business research dossier. All of this was dumb. It's just that they didn't care. So it's really no wonder the president has had the least Senate-confirmed nominations of any president going back to George H. W. Bush, has withdrawn twice as many nominees as President Obama at the same point in his administration. There was one person the president really wanted on the team that he just couldn't get, and her red flags were on display for everyone to see.